Ihi Kuholu. Back in 2022, we were flying our ROVs at nearly 3,000 meters along a never-before-surveyed seamount north of Johnston Atoll. And as we explored, light fell on an incredible animal. Rising from this two meter tall stalk sat a large pink pinnate tentacled polyp, a truly enormous sea pen. This sighting was made even more exciting when it was identified as Solambalula monocephalus, making it the first time this animal had ever been seen in the Pacific Ocean. And within an hour, we'd spotted several more of these animals. Now, as with many OET discoveries, the moment seen live is just the beginning of the knowledge creation process. So CPEN and Nidarian experts have been studying this sample to understand whether it is just a massive range expansion for Solon Balula that was previously only known in the North and South Atlantic and Indian Ocean, or maybe whether this is a new species altogether. But other experts also continue learning about this animal, and we're here to share an exciting new update in this story, the naming of this magnificent animal witnessed in the deep. Thank you so much for joining us today, Hoku and Haoli. We're really excited to talk about the latest news here, but why don't we start with you introducing yourselves to the audience? Hi, hiki no. Aloha nui kako. A uvau ke ia hauoli, hana ia wau i ka ua ki puupuu ma ka aina mauna. My name is Hau Uli. I am from Waimea on Hawaii Island. I am currently a Kumu Olal Hawaii or an instructor of Hawaiian language at Honolulu Community College. And I do a lot of really, 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 really fun things with the Papahano Mokua Kea Native Hawaiian Cultural Working Group, particularly with the subcommittee, the nomenclature Hui. Aloha mai kako. O hoku o ka hale lani pihana au, he makua hine au, he kia ikai au, he he vaava hine au. Uh, mahalo no, no ke gia vaa me o ko, me kaku. Um, aloha mai, I'm hoku, I'm a mother, I work in the ocean, and I'm a vaa woman or canoe woman. Mahalo for this time. I currently hold space as the Native Hawaiian Outreach Education Specialist at Moku Papa Pa Discovery Center. Um, so let's jump into it. Using like a Latin name of nomenclature, I, we think that we'd call this animal Solum Balula monocephalus, but could you two please introduce us to its name? So the Hawaiian name given to this organism is Ihi Kuholu. You know, this particular name uh, for us well, names in general are really based off on experiences. So this particular name came out really because of an experience that Huku had, really being one of the first Kanaka or Hawaiians to see this creature. This name, Ihikuholu, was born. So the name itself, Ihikuholu, is uh, made up of three parts. So Ihi, U, and Holu. So ihi is this sacred, this majesticness, this dignifiedness, this understanding that we have to treat it with reverence and respect. Um, the idea of ku means to stand, can also mean something like an anchor. And so because it was kind of a very large creature, it stood at the base of the, the ocean floor with this, again, this majesticness. And then holu means springy. It means pliable, it means resilient, it means to, to sway as palm bronze. And so imagine, okay, we're watching this video of the Ikuholu, and we're all kind of just, we're watching it just move majestically. We're all kind of doing this thing, this motion. But the idea that it's you know, springy and, and, and flexible and it sways. And so this idea that this creature has all of these different components, that to us, was the reason why we gave that team Ihikuholu. I think what always just plays back in my head is that revealing of the Ihikuholu and how alluring that movement and that holu was. I felt like almost like the Ihikuholu pretty much told us the name. It really just spoke for itself. There's, there's a lot that goes into these names, you know, it's not just about opening up a dictionary and saying, oh, that name sounds great. Let's go with it. Because yeah. we, we understand that that that, um, that names carry power, 
it carries meaning again it carries relationships it carries experiences yeah. and so then these are things that we hope that our kiki are gonna uh continue to use and continue to say i would love to know a little bit more could you share a little bit about um the Papua Nama Kuke cultural working group and the nomenclature hui itself the group itself was it has a long-standing history into the early 2000s and late 90s that were established from a group of kupuna essentially wanting to be that leo that voice that ancestral voice for papaha namo kakea when there was a lot of attention being brought to it during different um, you know monument and sanctuary designations all of these conversations were having were being had and i think um, it organically created itself out of the love of and the connection to papaha namo kakea so that sort of evoked the conversation of naming yeah like and really thinking about how we name what we name what are the things that we look at to name so our process is always grounded on collaboration so we've named over 70 different things and you know of course my favorite are, are the the species that we get to name they become our hawaiian common names in a sense these are the names that are used by our people by our hawaiian mm -hmm. language students and this is in that for me that's the most powerful thing right and in, in, in how can our students um, understand the species. There isn't a Hawaiian mm -hmm. for it, right? And so I think the the the, the work that we're doing, uh, Ihikuholu, is really representative of a living people, a living language, and a living culture. Yeah. And that's you know that's who we are. And that's the way our language lives. That's the way our practices thrive and are fruitful. Is that that momona, that productiveness? Yeah. This kind of building from that is, um, you know, I, I look to the future and hope for the, um, and I think it's happening already organically, is developing meaningful um, scientific practices that acknowledge, understand, and respect the, the, the pili or the cultural identities of these spaces and those connections, you know, and that's significant to me. Well, we're so appreciative of your care and time and expertise that went into crafting and composing this name along with um, all of the expedition names and uh, more names to come for more exploration ahead. And so thank you so much for being here and um, yeah. just on behalf of all of OVT and everyone watching who's excited to <laughs> uh, practice and speak this name out into the world where they are. Mm. Thank you for naming Ihu Kuhalo. Mahalo, Megan. Mahalo, Nuri Yauko.